Vlog Day 301. Let's talk briefly about the dangers of baguettes. A baguette is a dangerous thing in multiple ways. I think most of us are aware how dangerous it is in a caloric sense. It's a lot of bread. But what you don't know necessarily is that the top of this thing is covered in tiny little daggers. And if this thing sits around for a day, which this one has, it becomes very crispy. I mean, that can be pleasant. It's kind of like eating croutons, but it's not great for the inside of your mouth. Because as you'll note, if you just stick your finger in your mouth, uh, like shove it around, you got nothing but soft gooey stuff in there. Well, with hard stuff on the other side of it. So that hard stuff meets this hard stuff and uh, you, the gooey palatey stuff's in between. Something's gonna give. Now you might be wondering why I'm bringing this up. It's largely because after eating so many baguettes, it's sort of just like, at first you can eat some tough stuff like that, it doesn't really hurt you, but if you eat enough of them, it kind of softens you up, I think. And <laughs> two days ago, I had one that just jabbed me right in the gums on the inside. And I figured it'd probably heal after a day or two. I was wrong. So, I'm gonna try and wash it. This is not a commercial for Listerine, uh, but I've found that whenever you have a, like an injury in your mouth, whether you bite yourself really hard, or something like that, um, washing it out with Listerine always helps it to heal a lot faster. It's not a commercial for Listerine. They could pay me if they wanted to, but uh, it's not, not, I'm just, I need some. Medicine cabinet's getting a little bit, a little bit crowded though. Oh no. First day of the month, gotta, gotta charge this thing back up. So Sega One has a uh, display today. I think it's her workshop. It's called an Atelier. And I think she has a shared space with a bunch of other jewelers. So we're gonna go check out. They've got like a market going on today. Of course, the major downside to taking the RER, especially on the weekend, is fewer trains. Just started reading John Scalzi's The Last Colony, I think. It's the third book in the series. My dad got it for me. I'm already really enjoying it. Feeling a little bit like the Ender's Quartet in starting something new, but I know it's gonna get even messier and be, I think, more fun. And probably a little bit less philosophical. As per usual, I only have an idea of where I'm going and no real idea what I'm getting myself into. I think it's like a presentation of pieces done. I think this might be it. Bonjour. C'est pour les bijoux là? Tout à fait. Okay, super alors. Vous avez la liste des exposants? Oh, super. Et l'ascenseur à disposition. Okay, merci beaucoup. Donc, uh, okay, where am I going? I don't know what floor she's on. Bijou, she makes bijou. All the bees you were on like level one, so let's go level one. C'est Golen, elle fait des bijoux. Je la vois pas sur. Bijoux. Oui. Mais vous pouvez regarder ici. Okay. Là vous avez des bijoux. Ah oui, super. I have no. This is just an adventure at this point. I think I picked the wrong direction. Yep, but check out this view.
Nancy did say something about a uh, graffitied building. I have a feeling the cool building we were looking at a second ago was the one we're supposed to be in. Now we just gotta figure out how to get down there. This place is sweet. Found you. I was just out here. Ça va? Ça va? Ça va bien? Ah, you gonna... To the world. <laughs> it's the most different henna I've ever seen. Definitely a good time uh, when I found the right building. Although the wrong building was kind of fun too, even if it was a little bit weird. All of those different spots were different people's workshops. Um, Segalen, that was not her workshop. It was a friend of hers that was letting them set up in there. So there's a couple of girls that she knew that had their set up there. Did not get a Pikachu henna tattoo. Should have. So that was cool. Saw some cool jewelry, some other art. Really interesting. Like those places are actually fairly expensive, like ranging from a thousand to three thousand euros a month just for a studio space. So. I don't think I'll be getting a studio space anytime soon, but they're really neat.